When you think about chemistry, it is very easy to visualize yourself wearing a white lab coat and pair of safety goggles and dealing with test tubes filled with fancy colored liquid. Also, they are either depicted as malevolent planners or saviors in many fictions. Many chemists have walked the path of wearing lab coats and goggles, yet many of them are forgotten in history. For today's episode of Charged Magazine Hidden Figures, we would like to feature an African-American chemist, Marie Maynard Daly. Marie Maynard Daly was born on April 16, 1921, in Corona, New York. Her father, Ivan C. Daly, immigrated from British West Indies to New York, while her mother came from New York City. Mr. Daly attended Cornell University to become a chemist, but had to halt his education due to financial problems he faced. Dr. Daly's family always encouraged her to pursue higher education. She also loved Paul de Christ the Microbe Hunters. Combined with her father's passion for science, Marie began to pursue an education in science. Daly attended Hunter College High School. Then she went to Queens College. She earned her bachelor's degree in chemistry in 1942. To further pursue her education, she attended New York University for a master's and worked as a lab assistant at Queens College simultaneously. She didn't stop at a master's degree, so she went to Columbia University for a doctorate. In 1947, she earned her PhD in chemistry and became the first African American to earn that PhD in chemistry. She spent seven years at Rockefeller Institute to complete her postdoctoral research about the composition and metabolism of each component of the nucleus. She taught students at Howard University for two years. Then, she became a Columbia University professor for a brief amount of time and Albert Einstein College of Medicine from 1960 until she retired in 1986. Her title of the first African American to earn a PhD in chemistry was not her only achievement. Since she investigated the nucleus so much, most of her accomplishments are related to the nucleus. She studied histones and determined their amino acid composition, developed a separation technique to determine the base composition of nuclei by isolating the nuclei from the surrounding tissues, and investigated the protein synthesis. Her paper about protein synthesis was later cited by Watson and Crick in 1962, when they received the Nobel Prize. Dr. Daly was the first to set up a relationship between hypertension, cholesterol, clogged arteries, and arthrosclerosis. Nowadays, cigarettes are known as the most common cause of lung cancer. Without Daly, we would not be able to know that cigarettes would cause lung cancer because she researched how cigarettes hurt our lungs. Dr. Daly was not only a great scientist, but also a good mentor and activist, especially for those in the minority. She eagerly mentored minority medical students and wrote a report that accurately described what it meant to be a minority in the STEM field. After her retirement in 1986, she founded a scholarship fund for African American science students in Queens College to support their education. In 2003, she closed her eyes with the hope of more minority students to continue their path in science.